In the limited time that you did get to see Montreal's power play last year, as far as Washington was concerned, in fact, the year before in the postseason, what makes them so so difficult in terms of the man advantage? I think they move the puck pretty well. Um, you know, they don't waste passes, they're tape to tape, and uh, they've played together for a while now, so they know where each other is, and, you know, sometimes they make the odd uh, blind play because they know. So um, they're dangerous in that regard, and they got a couple shooters on the back end that can open it up. And in terms of pressuring the points, uh, how difficult is it to get out there, limit their time, limit their space, uh, keep it off Subban stick, and I guess Placanich's as well? Oh, he can go down their roster and try and keep it off all their sticks. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously um, you try and minimize their chances. And uh, if they're going to score a goal, they got to be uh, three, four great passes uh, to beat four guys who are out there. Are you compromised with the fact that you've just been with this team for one day and, and haven't been able to get out there and, and work on penalty kill schemes with Coach Greg Cronin? Uh, no, I mean, you know, they don't change uh, – you know, as far as systems go, there, there's not too much difference between teams. Um, it's a just here or there, but it's something that, you know, hopefully um, I can pick up right away. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. It's just about killing a penalty. And winning draws, and uh, how's your your head in terms of on a swivel and uh, that, that big long stick on the shooting lane? Yeah, I mean, uh, got eyes in the back of my head and, uh, you know, a good stick. Those are all things that make a good penalty kill, so, you know, we're going to try and start off on the right foot tonight.